Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be making an opinion video and it's all to do about the longevity of Sea of Thieves and the end game. So let's check it out. Okay, so today's video is all about the longevity of Sea of Thieves and also its end game state. Um, and really whether it does actually have an end game. Um, so at the moment the process is to get to level 50 on each of the merchants after that you get the ability to go into the legends hideout and take on Athena's quests which involve eight maps where they're equally shared out amongst the three factions and then you go and dig a final chest afterwards that is then level 10 and once you hit that you're done this is a problem that i think is voiced along the community as well because after you've done those things and there's no events on what are pirate legends actually meant to do apart from i know the fact that this is a sandbox game a live one at that you could probably go in and do pvp because you're bored you could just continue to make gold because you're bored but the problem with it is you have no directive no urge no reason to then get to x point uh, for example they had the sale on i had over two million in gold i pretty much bought a lot of the stuff at the time and now i'm at the point where i pretty much have most of the cosmetics definitely the ones i wanted and i'm now in the point of buying the ones that i didn't really like but just buying them for the sake of it so i've got no reason to earn gold um i then have got to the point where i've got the sales for the legends uh legends series library uh, that's going to cost about a mil and a half so yes i've got something to go towards there but that's just for three items so it's kind of ridiculous really in some ways and then i've got no more xp to be gained because i've got to the point where i've then hit the caps so i was wondering what are rare and sea of thieves idea to keep us playing after you hit the caps because it's okay if you're a new player uh, you've got something to go towards um, but for pirate legends there's nothing really to go for the other thing we did used to have is the commendations and yes some of them were a bit ridiculous in the length that they were and now they've reduced those as well so it's now even the point where we don't even have commendations to work for anymore they've taken that kind of away from us so i was wondering what they need to do to carry on keeping the community live and making sure that people are of a higher level are also included in playing the game apart from like i said you can go in there and do whatever you want if you just want to shoot yourself from ship to ship just because it's fun if you want to go in there and help other crews out you can do this the game does give you that openness but i'm talking about goals and end game i don't really think there's much there's doing at the moment i'll let, leave it up to there let me know what you feel about the longevity and the end game state of sea of thieves at this moment in time don't get me wrong there we'll bring out new things and new features that might bring older players back but in a whole i think they're in a little bit of a tight spot at the moment i have a video coming out uh, it's part of my future ideas series and i have an idea for end game but i'm not going to talk about that now um, I will talk about that when I post a video in the future. So let me know what you think about the end game and longevity, longevity of Sea of Thieves in the comments section. I'd be interested to know your views. That's it for today's video. Hopefully if it's been helpful for you or you're enjoying this sort of content, then do consider subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting. Have a great rest of your voyages guys and take care.